There are a few big things that American teens can start buying when they turn 18. They can buy lottery tickets, they can buy um, adult material, they can buy cigarettes. But that last one could become a thing of the past. A committee at the Institute of Medicine is recommending raising the legal smoking age to 21. This comes after it released a report saying this change would improve the health of Americans and delay the start of tobacco use. The government commission study says tobacco use among 18 to 20 four-year-olds, quote, poses serious concerns. It also says 98% of people who have ever smoked tried their first cigarette before they were 25 years old. Cigarette use is also highest in the 21 to 25 age range. Researchers specifically looked at raising the smoking age to 19, 21, or 25. They concluded raising the legal age by just one year wouldn't be enough. The researchers pointed to age 21 instead of 19 because teens under 15 could still have friends or co-workers who were 19. In other words, easy access. People in the 21 age range tend to be less connected with that younger teenage crowd. The study says changing that age could prevent 249,000 premature deaths and lead to 45,000 fewer deaths from lung cancer in people born between the new millennium and the year 2019. It also says that there would be 12% fewer smokers by the year 2100. So right now, federal law says 18 is the minimum age to buy a pack of smokes, but cities and states can still raise that age on their own. And it's quite the range. Both New York City and Columbia, Missouri, for example, have already raised the age to 21, and some states, including Alabama and New Jersey, have raised the age to 19. But not everyone is gung-ho about the trend to raise the smoking age. A writer for The Wire called the idea, quote, pointless. Smoking is bad, duh, but smoking rates are already coming down and smokers start way before age 21 anyway. The prevalence of college-age drinkers who have no problem getting their hands on alcohol suggests that those who want to smoke will have no problem getting their hands on tobacco. The Food and Drug Administration says smoking is the cause of 443,000 deaths in America every year and that smokers die around 14 years earlier than non-smokers. And the FDA also says that 3,500 kids start smoking every day and 850 of them will stick with the habit. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.